Alright, I just want to get a video. I don't like doing videos of life feedings, but the snake is kind of strange on um, how it likes to eat the pinkies. It doesn't strike, it just kind of just goes in for the eat. Unless it's going to strike. See if I can get the strange eating behavior. Is that what you're going to go for the, for the butt? No, man, go for the head. Go for the head. I would be using tongs, but the pinky was squeal squealing because I had him by the tail with the tongs. So I'm, I'm opting to use, um, excuse my hand. I can actually eat me. Well, I know you're hungry. Nah. You got camera shy. Had to switch over to a feeding dish. So, this is the snake eating. Just eating it alive, head fast. I mean, this is smart to go head fast. No coiling. Just eating it alive. I I've, I'm a little concerned about this behavior of just you know eating alive and whatnot. Um, because when it gets to the larger mice, well, the snake is gonna have to dispatch it. Um, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, because the larger mice are going to be able to defend themselves, unlike this little pinky, which cannot defend himself. So, yeah, this is... This is my dilemma with this snake at the moment. Just going to town, just got the head down. It's like no need for coiling. I'll just eat it alive. It just eats all. Of it. I can't get the thing, this snake to eat in anything other than live. The way it chooses to eat, eat live is to eat it al eat it alive. Not even bother killing it. Great angle, isn't it? See if I can turn the container around without freaking out the snake, you need. Oh yeah, that's a lovely side veil. Looks like the mouse is starting to suffocate. So, yeah. Yep. This is my cone snake. I cried. I cried of straws. And he just likes to um, eat him alive. I think they sup. I think this one might have suffocated about halfway through. Oh, sorry to suffocate. But, yep. There we go. All right. Well, 
mouse is down. He's just walking his way in. So I'm going to go ahead and let him out of the container and um, put him, let him sit in his enclosure for the next three days while he digests. There you go, your little bulb right there. All right, well, I guess thanks for watching. I, I mean, I don't really mean to do this. I didn't do this for shock value. It was just really wanted to be called this really strange behavior with how my corn snake eats. All right. What do we do? Rest of the enclosure. Plenty of room for, for a young snake.